Hi, folks. Welcome to Crisco's Corner. Hi, all you thought criminals. Welcome back from TimCast.com. White House doubles down on Biden's semi-fascism claim about mega Republicans. Yeah. What a moron. I got to tell you the truth. You know, they said, well, you can't make fun of the press secretary because she's non-white. Yeah, you can. She's dumber than a post. And she also has, a, I think, believe it's a Harvard education. All that money pissed away. It's amazing to me. Absolutely amazing. If I was a Holocaust survivor or a relative of a Holocaust survivor, and I'm sure there's a lot of them around the world, Many in the United States, a lot in Israel. I'd be pretty pissed right now to take the word fascism and water it down so badly. Let's read on. White House Press Secretary Corinne Jean-Pierre, she's got a great name, though, I'll give her that, has reaffirmed that President Biden meant what he said about his remarks, mega Republicans being supportive of semi-fascism. Biden read the marks while speaking at a fundraiser at a home in Bethesda, Maryland on Thursday. What we're now seeing is either the beginning or the death knell of an extreme mega philosophy, Biden said. It's not just Trump. It's the entire philosophy that underpins the I'm going to say something. It's like semi-fascism. The president claimed he respects conservative Republicans, but not mega Republicans. When you start making people to be less human or second-class citizens, we've been down this road before. He is telling over 50 million American people that you're semi-fascist. There are not many Republicans anymore. By the way, your sitting Lieutenant Governor Larry Hogan, this is in Maryland, of course, he's a Republican can deal with. Yeah, because he's a complete rhino. Well, in all fairness... The only way a Republican can win in Maryland and the governor's uh, mansion is to be a rhino. I respect conservative Republicans. I don't respect these mega Republicans. Of course you respect conservative Republicans. You've been walking all over them for decades. Spineless, gutless. It's amazing to me. The only Republicans now, the conservative, that seem to have any guts at all are the women. Gentlemen, when the women are carrying your balls around, maybe you ought to get them back. During Friday night's White House briefing, Jean-Pierre also asked if Biden's comments will be taken seriously or become something like the basket of deplorables, which turned into a meme. Of course it will. Press Secretary also asked if Biden respects the Americans who voted for Trump in 2020. The president yesterday suggested that Republican ideology is veering towards semi-fascism. More than 70 million Americans voted for Trump in 2020. He does not respect those voters, the reporter asked. Good question. I love that. I think he was pretty clear, and the president was powerful last night. Yeah, you think Joe Biden's a powerful speaker? you got to be kidding me, right? Well, let's listen to what she has to say anyway. I'm sorry to do this to you, but maybe it's more for comic relief. The president yesterday suggested that the Republican ideology is veering towards uh, semi-fascism. Could you just uh, clarify what exactly does the president mean by that? And secondly, the president also said he respects conservative Republicans, but he does not respect MAGA Republicans. More than 70 million Americans voted for Trump in 2020. Does he not respect those voters? No, I mean, that's not what he said. I'm going to, I think he was pretty clear and he was very powerful uh, last night. Look, what the president said last... Joe Biden being clear? Are you kidding me? You know, I don't envy this woman because she has a, she has to defend the indefensible. But he was clear? And he spoke strongly? My God, my God. Let's listen on. Last night was that when it comes to MAGA Republicans, when it comes to the extreme ultra uh, wing of Republicans, they are attacking democracy. Right. Uh, they are attacking, taking away rights and freedoms. They are using threat of threats of violence. Uh, they are taking away voting rights. And he called it what it is. That's what he did. He called it what it is and what many, uh, we would argue, her, uh, you know, historians would agree with us on. 
historians will agree with us on. What can't you do? What can't you do that you couldn't do a year ago? Oh, well, yeah. I mean, if you're in a southern state or a Midwest, you can't have an abortion in your eighth or ninth month. Okay, other than that, which is a really sticky issue, but I think that's fantasied. Besides that, what voter taking away voting rights? Where? Where could I live in upstate New York? I've been an election inspector once, and I was a city council member in the early 2000s here, council president in 2006. And I've never heard anybody as election inspector in all my time around elections, helped in a lot, ran a lot myself. I've never heard of anybody being disenfranchised, ever. Not once. And if they weren't allowed to vote, that means they weren't qualified to vote in the area they voted in. That's it. And that extremely rarely happens. My God, my God. You can't just sit in your underwear at your kitchen table and fill out a ballot. And you're so lazy that you won't even mail it yourself. Somebody has to come around and collect it for you. Those are the people you're disenfranchising. Give me a break. People suck so bad. They are attacking, taking away rights and freedoms. Like what? The freedom to kill an unborn child? What rights? Abortion is not a constitutional right. You want to go down and register? 99.99% of all people have some ID in some shape, way, or form. It's amazing to me, taking away rights. The president called it what it is and claimed the historians will agree with them. Yeah, all the liberal, ultra-leftist, progressive professors in colleges... They're using threats of violence. Where? Where? And any violence that's done is so an isolated incident, it barely even counts. They're taking away voting rights. Where? He called it what it is. Because they're setting themselves up for the fact that when they lose this November, they can scream voter suppression. Stacey Abrams has been screaming that for four years. She still hasn't conceded the governor's race. It's amazing to me. Historians would agree with us. What historians? Tim Cass reached out to the White House press office to ask how mega Republicans can be considered an extreme ultra wing of the party. When the majority of the GOP voters did vote for the former president in 2020, we will update the story if a response is provided. There's no reason to respond. The president was strong. Give me a break. The guy was a crappy public speaker before he went before he got old and, and he has dementia. He was a crappy public speaker that done. So I guess I'm a semi fascist mega Republican, and those of you all out there are all semi fascist too. What is that like fascism light? In other words, you're not full fascist fascist yet. But you're getting there, so we're going to save you before you go. It's amazing to me. Mega Republicans, that's going to be their chant for this November. Any mega Republicans running for Congress are fascists, period. Especially the non-white ones, which is an amazing statement. Well, there it is. There's their strategy, folks. We'll see if it works. Until next time, goodbye and good luck.